what they do, you see different names here. They produce for different European brands, for example, German brands. Do they manufacture them completely or some parts only? There is manufacturing from scratch, what we are going to see, from the motors to the components. So they do not only make the motors, but they produce all the elements. For example, these are made entirely here, all the components. And some things, like the angle grinder, they don't make them here. They buy the parts. Metabo, I take it, they make the whole thing here. Yes, this is electronic, leading in the world. What are their production volumes? What is the approximate volume? They make a million of these things, for example. Metabo, Skill, DeWalt, they all make them here, in this factory, in millions of batches. I am very surprised, even amazed. I even wanted to bring something with me for our laboratory. There are very interesting tools here. And there are even some that I have not seen before. That's strange for me. For example, I've never seen such a thing. We made a homemade one. But here it is produced. There are jigsaws of different kinds and from the world's leading manufacturers. They make them for America and Thailand. But the fact that the motors fail after a month makes such a machine very expensive. But if you replace the motor with ours, the machine becomes unkillable. Well done! They made lift winches too. There's one of them standing there, for example. They produced them, but not of this type. Here it is like a normal motor, with a normal rotor, not like a motor wheel. So they're also waiting for us to start showing the finished product. And that's what I was saying. For several months they order three computer numerical control CNC machines. And if you look here, how many are there for a small shop alone? A huge number of these machines for different types of work and for different types of motors. And just for your information, these are old shops. So the machines here are old, very old. Then we'll move to the new workshops. And there are newer CNC machines there. Processing machines are also different. Now you can see the production room, about 100 by 70 meters, where about 100 people work. And every month they produce 40,000 units of finished products in the form of induction electric motor of different sizes. It was seen on the video from this size to this size. We are accompanied by the vice president of the company. This is the head office. There is a showroom with a lot of machinery. For example, such as Skill, Makita and all the famous brands from countries like Italy, Germany, France. Everything is made in this company. This is one of their many factories. You can look at the CNC machines that were ordered for several months and that are here. And that's just for certain types of hand tools. When they talk about production, you need to understand the volumes, and how many types need to be produced. As Dmitry Dunov says, to make three types of motors. So, there is a limited number of machines on such premises. And here the size and scope are completely different. This is exactly what I was talking about. Here we have expensive machines with our motors, which can increase in price three times. Although the cost of production itself with our motor 
is only $20 more expensive. If this machine costs $180, with our collectorless motor it will cost at least $500. By increasing the cost of production by $20, you get twice as much profit on the market. Look, it's a German company. They write that it is made in Germany. That is, the equipment is made in China, for the country where it will be sold, as if it was made there. And this is normal for China. And for the whole world, it is OEM production, original equipment manufacturer. What we see is Metabo, a well-known brand, German one. It says it is made in China, but for Germany. Made in China, but produced for Germany. It will still be polished to make it shiny. They'll be in Moscow soon. They'll take it with them. Will it fit in your suitcase? Yes, we will take an additional suitcase. Basically, it's the fastest and safest way to deliver it. And it's a good advertisement to raise the spirits of investors. It's already finished parts. It's not 3D printed. And the tooling is ready. We just need to test the tooling and we can start production. Yes, we need to test everything. Well done. That's great. Great job.